what's really good guys it is your boy david brand new uh, uh back with another video for you who uh, and uh, we got another banger video that's because we are riding another new e-bike this is by a company called ice and will this is the d4 it's gonna be a fat tire folding e-bike currently on my way to the local lake I want to pull it over and show you guys a closer look at this bike. We reviewed a ton of folding fat tire e-bikes, so we're going to definitely put this one through the ringer. We're going to put it on a top speed run. We're going to put it up a hill climb. We're really going to put this one to the test and see if it's worth the money. Speaking of money, I don't even know how much this thing is worth. So we're going to play a little game. While we make our way over to the lake, I'm going to uh, look at some of these components and we're going to guess the price of the bike. Once we get to the lake, I will give you guys the actual price and hopefully I am right. You guys ready? So let's start with the dash. We're currently rocking some uh, mechanical disc brakes. Uh, they seem to be working pretty well. They're not hydraulic brakes, uh, but pretty good. Here's gonna be the uh, headlight button. You also get a horn with this bike. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Here's gonna be the LCD screen right here. It tells you everything you need to know. It's not going to be a color LCD, but it has all the information you need. Moving over, we do have a Shimano 7-speed shifter. This is the one that I really don't care for. It works perfectly. I just don't like the look. And uh, we have a half-twist throttle right here and ergonomic grips. It seems to have a decent amount of power. Um, if I had to guess, maybe a 750 watt. But because it has some cheap components on here, it might be a 500 watt e-bike. Not sure yet. Currently only going 20 miles per hour. We're gonna see if we can make this bike any faster. The bike only comes with front suspension, but it also does come with a suspension seat pulse. So technically it is dual suspension. And it also comes with front and rear fenders and a rear rack included. It also comes with 20 by four inch fat tires. And like I said, it is a folding e-bike, so it's not gonna be super expensive. With all that being said, how much do I think this bike is worth? And I've only been riding the bike for like 10 minutes, guys, but I think that this bike is worth 12, 99 only if it's a 750 watt e-bike if it's a 500 watt bike it should be 999 i also don't know the size of the battery so that will play a part in the price uh but probably nothing more than a 20 amp hour if i had to guess probably 14 amp hours all right guys we have the ice and will website pull it up right now this is the d4 fat tire electric bike and guys guess what the price is it's only nine 49 it's cheaper than what i thought so we're definitely working with a 500 watt motor i bet you here we go let's go over the specs really quick so what oh okay they almost fooled me it says max power is 750 watts so we do have a 500 watt motor peak power is 750 watts they're claiming that the top speed on this bike is 20 miles per hour i'm going to see if we can make the bike a little bit faster the max load on this bike is 330 pounds guys the battery that we're working with is a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery they're claiming that you can get anywhere between 39 to 55 miles on this bike and the bike weighs 66 pounds like i said it does come with fenders and a rear rack so you are getting a pretty good deal if you ask me it's not gonna be the strongest motor and you guys will see once we do the hill climb but so far so good i'm not too mad at it they're not overcharging you guys so yeah that's a pretty good start all right guys you already know what time it is we're at our favorite off-road section about to test out this suspension also the overall power delivery we're gonna cut through right here oh yes here we go first test okay it didn't bottom out it's pretty solid okay suspension seems to be working quite well not gonna lie also like I said, it does have a suspension seat post and the seat cushion on there is pretty fluffy. So honestly, can't even feel it too much back there. Let's go ahead and cut through right here. I'm not gonna lie, a little scared approaching this area here. There's some tall grass and uh, I don't know what's lurking behind that, but we're gonna speed through it as fast as we can. Whoo! Tires are extra grippy. Tire wise, it seems to be handling the trail pretty well. I wish we had a little bit more, uh, but oh my God, I almost fell out over there. Whew. Okay, a little rough here. The bike is doing really good. Almost slipped out. It's okay. Whoa. Currently pedaling all the way in seventh gear and there is some resistance there. Don't feel like a hamster. We are only going 19 miles per hour. We're approaching the end of our course. 
let's go ahead and break now and yeah we're just gonna turn around right here i don't know what's going on over here there's definitely a mountain lion right there real quick let's see if we can make this bike any faster all you gotta do is hold the up and down arrow at the same time we need to go all the way to po8 and we're gonna change that top speed too yes we can make it faster yes we're gonna keep on going all the way oh my god when does it stop can we go 100 miles per hour? Woo! Currently going downhill. Oh my God, don't slip out. Whoa! Very scary, but we made that alive. The bike is still only going 19 miles per hour. This is off road. We're gonna wait till we get to a flat ground, pull out that GPS phone app and really test that top speed. I think we might've made the bike faster, guys. To be honest, for a $950 e-bike, this is pretty good. Like, it actually doesn't seem slow for some reason. I think the uh, the controller it's working with is pretty decent. Because, like, as soon as you engage that throttle, it's already kicking in. Ooh. I think that was a pretty good first ride let me go ahead and take this thing back home it needs a full charge but right out of the box a plus from me what's up guys taking a quick break from the review video i wanted to talk to you guys about today's sponsor it's actually my product it's the turtleneck stem the other day i took the same bike to a nearby park and switched out that ugly giraffe neck stem for a turtleneck stem and bmx bars if you guys don't know what the turtleneck stem is it's pretty much like a small little adapter that allows you to switch from that ugly long stem that all these folding e-bikes come with you can switch that out for some bmx handlebars and still keep the full foldability of your bike overall it's going to make your bike look way cooler and you're going to notice way better handling the conversion is super simple it's plug and play it works on all folding e-bikes this particular e-bike uses a quill stem so i did need to add a quill stem adapter but it completely transformed the look of the bike and now it looks 10 times better i just wanted to show you guys how this bike would look with bmx handlebars i'm gonna go ahead and switch it back to stock but if you guys are interested in picking up a turtleneck stem i will leave a link to it in the description down below make sure you use code amp 20 off if you're just buying the turtleneck stem i also do sell bundles that includes everything that you need so if you guys want the easiest route go ahead and buy the bundle all the information will be in the description down below thank you guys for watching the video so far and let's get back into the review what's up guys we're at the designated spot about to perform this top speed run the company claims that the bike tops out at 20 miles per hour and i can confirm that that is not true i was able to dive into the settings and make the bike faster we're going to see that today the first test is going to be throttle only gps verified you guys ready here we go three two one go all right let's see speedometer seems to be reading slightly faster nothing too crazy now it's matched up currently going a 19 20 miles per hour 21 it's already going faster look at that 24 25 guys 26 27 27 miles per hour throttle on 28 28 miles per hour throttle on 29 i saw 29 oh my goodness guys am i tripping or is this a freaking 500 watt e-bike what the heck is going on we almost hit 30 miles per hour throttle only this is incredible. All right, guys, the next test is going to be pedal assist. We got it all the way up in pedal assist five. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Let's go ahead and crank these pedals. Oh, one of the pedals is folded. Oh, my God, it's okay. Here we go. 20 miles per hour. Oh, my God, this folded pedal was throwing me off. Currently going 24, 25, 26. Can we go 29? 27 28 it's easy i'm not even cranking the pedals really 28 29 can we go 30 can we go freaking 30 i don't think we can do it but 29 is incredible well, guys we are at the designated hill climb test spot about to perform this hill test first one's going to be throttle only you guys ready here we go three two one go let's see how fast we can go up this hill we're already going 16 though Let's see, 15, 14, slowing down, but like decent speed. I can hear the motor like working very hard. It is slowing down tremendously now. Nine, eight, 
and we might have to kill the test if we drop to seven. Hey, there's seven. All right. All right, next test is going to be Pell Assist. We got it all the way up in Pell Assist 5. You guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Let's go ahead and crank these pedals. We'll drop these gears. So we're going to drop it to gear five. It's kind of easy right now. Let me see. Bump it up to six. Currently going 17 miles per hour. See if we can go any faster. 15 slowing down, but it's not hard at all. I'm not putting in any effort. The motor seems like it's on fire right now. <laughs> Just made a loud noise, but we're going up the hill. Let's drop the gears a little bit, slowing down. We're almost there. Can we maintain this speed? Eight miles per hour up the hill. It didn't drop to seven. It passed the test barely and throttle only back downhill. Let's see how fast we can go. Woo! 24, 27, 29, 31, 33. Oh my God. Those were the tests. You guys saw it for yourself. The company lied right before your eyes. They're claiming that this bike only goes 20 miles per hour and it damn near went 30 miles per hour, guys. That's freaking fast as hell, especially for a bike that only costs 950 freaking dollars. If you guys are in the market for a fat tire folding e-bike, this is definitely one to consider. The only thing that I really don't like about the bike is the battery placement. I personally like the ones where the battery is housed inside the frame. I think it looks a little bit more cleaner. And as you guys saw, you can easily change out this giraffe neck stem for a turtle neck stem and BMX handlebars. But if you guys don't mind the look, I think it's a pretty good deal. Also, earlier in the video, I claimed that this bike had a suspension seat post and I was mistaken. Why is the freaking plane so freaking loud? I thought it had a suspension seat post because it has this super fat seat with this nice big coil on the bottom and it actually smooths out the ride pretty well. Overall, it's a good bike. It's a good beginner bike, nothing crazy. I think the highlight of it is the speed. That's freaking crazy. But if you guys want to learn more about the bike, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. That's going to do it for the review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, deuces. I like that. Yee.